What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Prime Madden Master today. We're back here with another video, and I haven't done a Madden rebuild in forever. So today we're going to be rebuilding the New England Patriots. Yes, the New England Patriots, the guys that won the Super Bowl, of course. Not uh, that surprising. Um, and the Patriots. I mean, I could. They got a lot of old people, especially uh, Tom Brady. Um, so really, Tom. I'm gonna get rid of Tom Brady. Probably some receivers. Probably some defensive line people. Um. So really. We're just gonna we're gonna do we're gonna make a couple of changes, and uh, I'll see you guys in the main menu. All right, guys, now we're in the menu right here, and first we're just gonna install our game plan or whatever. Um, yeah, the usual. Okay, and um, all right, so we're gonna be in the preseason. Um, so here is the New England Patriots team. You got Tom Brady, the Garrett Blind, Deion Lewis, Ju Ju my bad, Julia Elderman, Chris Hogan, and Danny Amendola at receivers. So you have Grant Bennett. We're going to get rid of Bennett because his contract going to be up. Then we got Vollmer, his old self. Uh, what's, what's his guy's name? Jack Tavares Jackson? Ch uh, Trey, Trey Jackson, Stork, uh, Shaq Mason, and Nate Solder for the offense. And on his defensive side, we got Chris Long, Terrence Knighton, Jabal Shear, Logan Ryan, uh, Cyrus Jones, Ma and Malcolm Butler at the corners. We got Patrick Chung, uh, Harmon at sa strong safety. We got Rob Nikovich, uh, Jarrell Free Freeney, I think. Uh, Jamie Collins. Oh, uh, Jamie Collins. I forgot. He this is the preseason roster. I forgot. It's preseason roster. Uh, then we got uh, Dante Hightower and Devin McCourty. So now we're going to get into the trading, and I'll see you guys in our first trade. Welcome to What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Prime Man Master. Today we're back here with another connected, fran connected franchise rebuild, control. and I haven't done one of these in a while, so I was like, why not do a, a franchise, like another rebuild, since I haven't done one in a while. So, the team I will be doing today is the New England Patriots. Um, I mean, they're, they're kind of an old old team. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of... Re we get rebuild on their team, break some new players in, get some players out, get some picks. And I'll see you guys there. Now. All right, guys. So, now we're here the menu and we're gonna you see we got a game plan install uh we got a trade for a uh, bomber media question so here's a team you got tom brady laguerre blunt Deion lewis a receivers we got julian elderman damian dola chris hogan mike floyd and mike mitchell we got rob gronk martellus bannon we're probably gonna get rid of him uh, we got Marcus Cannon. We got Shaq Mason. Uh, Andrew, what's his name? Danny Andrews? David Andrews. Uh, Thunny and Nate Solder. And, yeah, we're just going to... So, before we do our trades, we want to see what trade offers we get for this 31-year-old right here. Um, I'll probably go with this one with the Lions, the fourth and sixth round pick this year. Uh, no first round picks. Yeah, we'll just add some picks already to this year. All right, so we got him out of here already. Okay, so here's a look at the team. Now we're about to get into some trading. My bad, guys. Before trading, we're going to – I'm going to show you the defense. We got Jabal Sher, We got Alan, Alan Branch, uh, Trey Flowers. At corner, we got Malcolm Butler, uh, Eric Rose, Cyrus Jones, rookie, uh, and Logan Ryan. Then um, we got – our safeties are here. We're gonna we're gonna we just signed him. Uh, we're gonna trade Will Hill. Uh, we got Harmon. We got uh, Barkeeves Mingo. Uh, some Roberts. Um, Dante Hightower at, and Rob Nikovich at the uh, linebackers, and we got Devin McCourty up here. Free safety. Now we're about to get some trading. Finally. All right, guys. So we traded Martellus Bennett, 
Laguerre Blunt and a third round pick this year for the Colts. First round and second round pick this year. All right, guys. So we trade Eric Rowe, Allen Branch, and Vasquez for the Redskins' Josh Norman. And hopefully he can help out that secondary a little bit more. He'll start uh, alongside Malcolm Butler. All right, guys. I don't know if it's kind of weird, but and, uh, Julian Elderman's a 92 overall, but he's in his 30s, so he's kind of old. So we trade him and uh, Fleming to the Bills for their first round pick this year. All right, guys. So Danny Amendola is old, too. So we traded him and um, Eric Monroe for the Broncos' first round pick this year. Alright guys, so we need a receiver, so what we traded for was Will Hill, the th well, what we traded was Will Hill the third, Raheem Moore in a second round pick this year for Amari Cooper, that's that's good for us. Alright guys, so we traded E. Williams and Jeremy Miles for the Titans, first round pick this year, which is projected to be the number two, so we can use that to get a stud. Alright guys, alright guys, so what I was doing here was just, uh, Getting like these people that were not starting or whatever and who are old to get off the team because Peck Chung was 30 and Chris Long is 31. So I just traded those two guys for the Bears first round pick this year. All right, guys. So we trade James White, uh, Jarrell Freeney, and Robert Nikovich for the Jets first round pick this year. Projected to be number 18. So I'm going to use that. All right, guys. So after all that trading, this will be... The New England Patriots for the 2016, yeah, 2016 season. Uh, so we got uh, Jimmy Garoppolo starting. We got Dion Lewis, Mark Cooper, Michael Floyd, and Chris Hogan. And then you see the O line. We got Rob Gronk. And for the defense, we have Trey Flowers, uh, Malcolm Brown, and Jabal Shared for the defensive line. We got Malcolm Butler and Josh Norman starting with my bad with um. Logan Ryan coming in at cornerback number three. And then we have Devin Cordy and Harmon at safeties. While we have Marquise Mingo, uh, Eric Roberts, I think. I think that's what his name is. Oh, Elandon Roberts. Uh, and Dante Hightower and Shan Shannon Mc McLennan. Yeah, uh, for the defense. So this will be the team. And I'll see you guys about week eight, which is midseason. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So now we're in week eight, and we're about to check out the injuries right now since we got a new injury. Um, as you guys see, Amari Cooper had a complete ACL tear. He'll be out for the whole season, the off season, probably most the next season. And Mike Mitchell's out. Uh, Brandon Bolden's out, and Chris Hawkins out. So as you see. Three of our top receivers are out, um, so in this draft, we'll probably be looking for a receiver just to have another guy in, maybe first round, maybe late round. And as you see at the bottom left, we lost on the road 42-24 to against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, so let's, and we are 1-6, tied with the Jets in the AFC East. And as you see the team right now, they put Rob Gronk at receiver number three. So that's kind. Of, that's kind of bad. Hold on. We need. It. Let's see what they have in free agency, because we're gonna need a receiver. So let's go look for a receiver just to help out. Oh my gosh. Why is everybody a sixty nine? Oh my gosh. I, I just signed Joshua Bellamy. All right. So we just added a receiver just to help out, just because we need another receiver. Cause we only really, yeah. All right, guys. So this is the team right now. Um, we got. Man, it's, I don't even know about the team right now. Uh, here's the defense. Um, it's pretty good. You need some upgrading at the linebacker, strong safety spots. But uh, yeah, that's all we got going at the midseason mark. Uh, let's see. Barkevis Mingo is returning. Um, who else is returning? It was another. There was one more. And Gino Grissom is returning. I guess, yeah, he's the backup uh, right in. So um, that will be it for right here at the midseason mark. And I'll see you guys at the playoffs, which we probably won't make. All right, guys. So now we are in the playoffs. As you see, we did not make it. 
Um, they, the, the CPU signed some players for us, which I probably will cut during the off season. And um, yeah, we finished. Uh, we finished five and eleven. The Jets finished four and twelve. Gosh. All right, so now we're going to go see the season stats, and let's get there. All right, guys. So Aaron Rodgers went had one MVP, no Patriots. Oh, look who's there for in seventh place, Tom Brady. Okay, Coach of the Year, Rex Ryan. Uh, Patriots not up there. Uh, let's go to AFC, which we are in. Ben B Rossenberger won Offensive Player of the Year. Um, Patriots Jimmy Garoppolo was in seventh place, and that's it. Defensive player of the year was Khalil Mack. Um, Patriots, we had uh, Dante Hightower at eight. Offensive rookie of the year was Tajay Sharp. Um, is there any? And DJ Foster, 64 overall, was ranked nine. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, defensive rookie of the year went to Jatavis Brown. Um, let's see. Uh, we got Landon Roberts in there. And we have Trevor Bates in there. So we got two Patriots up there. Wish they could have won it. Um, best QB was Ben Rossberger. Tom Brady came in second. Jimmy Garoppolo came at ninth. Um, any Patriots up here? Nope, not for running backs. Steelers uh, got that at receiver. Nope, no Patriots. Um, I'm looking. There's... Uh, no Patriots. Oh, Dante Hightower got second place for uh, best linebacker. Um, best DB went to Jason McCourty. No Patriots? Josh Norman and Malcolm Butler wasn't even up there. Pa oh, we got uh, Steven Goskowski was ranked six at kicking. Wow. All right, so that'll be it for annual awards, and I'll see you guys in the offseason. All right, guys, now in the off season, um, during the season, I really re-signed everybody that I really wanted to because uh, there was really nobody left that I wanted to re-sign. Um, this fullback, I'm a, mm, I'll franchise tag him. Uh, but that's really it. We're going to find a new uh, strong safety in the draft. So now we're going to get into free agency, and I'll see if I can uh, find any studs, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, before I went to free agency, um, I know this kind of dumb, but uh, Devin Courtney, De these two guys right here, Devin Courtney and Dante Hightower, are taking a lot of space with money to sign free agents. Uh, and plus, they're, they didn't do that good this season. And Devin Courtney's kind of old. So what I did was trade these two guys for the Browns' first-round pick this year. And I'm going to see if I could trade anybody else. All right, so these guys right here took up some more money. Um, so everybody I really trade will be taking up money. So I traded Logan Ryan and Marcus Cannon for the Buccaneers' first-round pick. All right, guys, so um, basically none of those tradings did a single thing. I mean, those guys were kind of old anyway, so I got rid of them and got uh, picks. But uh, I have negative $20.5 million in cap room. And at running backs, of course, they have somebody I could have got, um, Le'Veon Bell. Um, anybody else really good? Uh, Willie Sneed and Terrence Williams. Uh, Morris Claiborne, eh, kind of wants a lot of money. Uh, Cordell Patterson, Gabriel, TJ McDonald. That's, uh, that's really it. So I'll just see you guys at the draft. All right, guys, now we're back here. Now we're here. We are in the 2016, actually 2017 NFL draft. Uh, we got the first, second, fifth, sixth, tenth, twelfth, seventeenth, nineteenth, and 23rd. Is there one more? And the 30th picks in this year's draft. So we are going to see what we can do and let's see if we can find any studs all right guys so with our first pick we choose david radway out of clemson a mobile qb he is ranked 
17th in two talent, and we took him at number one. Uh, 84 speed, 92 throwing power, uh, 82 medium accuracy, and 87 short with decent deep accuracy. And he has good throw on the run and play action. Uh, he's a he's an automatic starter, so let's keep going. All right, guys. So we choose Samuel Curry, running back out of Alabama. He was the top running back in this year's draft, ranked number eight in true talent. Took him at number two. He has superstar development. Uh, he's really good. So let's keep let's keep draft. All right, guys. So here we take Deron Hagen out of Ole Miss. Uh, his combine was uh. He skipped the combine, actually. Uh, he's ranked 17th in true talent, and we took him at five. Uh, look, just, he kind of looks. It looks like he's a. He looks like a sophisticated kind of guy. He has quick development, uh, great hit power, so he'll do good for us. All right, guys. So here we get a good pick, actually. Uh, he we got Doran uh, Lone out of Ohio State. He he has slow development, which is the, what, a bad thing. But he's ranked number two. We'll look at those stats down there. He's pretty good. 87 speed, 85 hit power, outside linebacker. Oh yeah, that's a that's a, he's probably gonna start. All right, here so in number here at number ten we take Chip Bellinger at a Clemson uh position possession type of receiver. He is ranked 16th overall in the draft, and we took him at 10. He uh he's six two has ninety speed uh good jumping he's a big guy so he probably he could get the start maybe all right guys so here at the twelfth pick we take Rashad Hickson corner out of Stanford uh he has quick development man to man type of guy um decent coverage said he's a man to man corner so he has better man covered. Uh, stats then zone he has good acceleration um, so he could line up in the slot as a slot receiver so yeah it's not bad he's ranked 10 overall in the draft and we took him at 12 all right guys so we take Brandon Cordova out of Oregon he's a center he has quick development um, he, he's gonna most likely start for our team he's ranked 24 overall in the draft and we took him at 17 Oh, okay. So here we take Sergio Wilcox out of Florida. He's ranked 12 overall in this draft, and we took him at 19 with superstar development. That's really good. We actually needed a starting middle linebacker because we got rid of Dante. All right, guys. So with our last pick in the first round, we chose Jamarcus Beverly out of Columbia, defensive tackle. He's ranked 13 overall in this draft, and we took him at 30. Um, his skill said he was rated second round pick, but we took him late for uh, late first round, so it's not bad for. All right, guys. So with our second round pick, we chose Ryan Acosta out of Oregon. Uh, he has slow development, but he's ranked 25 in his draft, and we took him at 50. All right, guys. So this is our fourth round pick, but I'm just showing you this because he had great stats, but um. Connor Barthel out of Southern Miss, he's 6'4". This is a 6'4 free safety, so maybe he could start if we try to upgrade him or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but he's 6'4", so I'll probably use something with that. All right, here to back up our running back that we chose the first round is Tavaye? I don't know how you say it. Taviozzi. Gar Garns out of Iowa. He's a power back. Uh, decent stats. He's ranked uh, 101 in true time. We took him at 118. All right, guys. So here in the sixth round, we chose a safety out of Cincinnati, Jacquees Hewitt. He's ranked uh, 157, and we took him at 165. Okay, guys. All right. Here we struck gold, lightning, fire, Amazement, amazing, what a pick. Okay, I'm stopped. All right, so we chose Wes Wilkerson out of Boise State, 3 4 pass rusher with quick development. He's a 76 overall, and he's ranked 26 in true talent. I took him at 168. Now, this right here, this is like pulling a limited time in Mutt. This is fire. This is just like true fire. Look at that. He has 90 
hit power. All right, guys. So, okay. So we did another one. We got more fire. We got Allen Spence out of Indiana State with quick development, 74 overall. Not bad. He's ranked 29 in true talent. We took him at 200. This is another fire. It's some more fire. Well, that's these are all the guys. All right, guys. So we are in season two, week one. Um, we are in the actual regular season. As you see, there's the offense right here. Um, here's the defense. Okay, and we got a trade offer for Jimmy Garoppolo since we drafted a QB in the first round. Um, so there's a fourth and seventh round this year. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take that one. The fourth, he's going. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to Houston. Okay. Um, returning from injury, Alex Ellis. He's a backup tight end for Rob. When is Amari Cooper coming back? We all right. Let, let's see when Amari Cooper comes back. Um, injury report. Amari Cooper. Oh, he'll be back next week. All right. Oh wow. Cyrus Jones. Hey, he had. A, uh, he'll be out a couple. He'll be out for this season and the preseason next year. All right. So we're gonna put Cyrus Jones on IR. All right, rest easy. And Amari Cooper will be back next week to help out the Patriots offense. Uh, there will not be no trading going on. And I'll see you guys at week eight. All right, guys. So we are going to see if we can get to any moment. And let's see. Mm, take even. Uh, we're going to play this one. Let's see. All right, guys. First 19. So our quarterback is left-handed, so we're going to flip it this way. We are playing in the snow. Let's see if we can score on this play. Uh, oh, and it's intercepted. That, I knew that was a bad throw. Oh, that was a bad throw. All right, guys. So we got to make a big stop on third down in the first quarter. All right, let's see if we can stop Marcus Mariota here. Um, we're going to get a pass rush with Barkevis Mingo. See. No. Oh, my gosh. Delaney Walker trucks somebody out of his shoes. All right, guys. We're now in another moment. We're going to see if we can get a blitz in with Wilcox, our rookie linebacker. Um, and, okay. He just hit a spin move. I don't know what he's trying to do. Second and nine. Okay, that's the end of the quarter. Wow, that's just great. All right, guys, so we are at the playoffs now, and we have made the playoffs, actually. Um, we are going to the divisional championship. Uh, we finished the season 11-5. and five. Look at the Jets. They finished 4-12. and 12. And uh, we're going to play the moments in the divisional round. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we had missed the field goal, and I wish we could have scored on that drive because it would have been better, but we're gonna, it looks like we're going to end up losing here uh, at the Super Bowl. It's kind of sad. Um, all we can do is just try to at least, at least put something on the board right here. I mean, he'll not be a, all right, so it doesn't really matter anyways. We lost. I mean, we did. We made, we made a couple mis. We a couple, not a couple. We made a lot of mistakes. Jimmy Graham shouldn't even have gotten that catch. Oh my gosh, Richard Sherman is locking up over there. Golly, you can't get nothing to that man. Can we like? Let me see if I can do something. I want to at least put something on the board. Rob Gronk, touchdown. I mean, I'm happy about that. He beat Richard Sherman, and we scored. That's good. Okay, guys. It all comes down to this. If we Hopefully, we can get this. It, come on. Oh, we got it. 
Let's go. All right, guys. So we got we. All right, I'm I'm nervous. Okay, so we got the onside kick. Four seconds left. I want to do this screen. We can if we can get all these blocks right here. Come on. Come on. Oh, why didn't y'all block? Oh, man. I tried to... I'm sorry, guys. I thought my du my dudes were going to block for me. I could have at least driven downfield and got close to a touchdown. I'll make it at least exciting. But uh, it looks like we lost the Super Bowl here to the Seahawks. Um, we It was a great season, guys. I'm glad that we got here. And... Um, this will conclude the video, actually. Um, we'll continue this another time. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, what a great ride we had here for two seasons, going to the Super Bowl and end up losing by three points. Um, I just want to thank you guys for showing love. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.